Hello and welcome back to another episode of Alpha Audio. Today we're going to talk about something nerdy. We're Alpha Audio, so we do nerdy stuff all the time. But this time it's extra nerdy because we're going to compare uh, two switches, a Zixel GS2200 we normally use, and the Meraki switch, the MS220 or 120, I'm not sure anymore. But it's an eight port switch with two extra fiber ports, so it's 10 ports in total. So you can use either fiber optical cable or normal cable. We use a CAT7 double shielded cable to compare. And if you want to use the optical connection, you need a SFP module. And uh, well, we have uh, a Netgear compatible module in there and it works flawlessly. So don't worry, it will work if you have the right module. The reason we stepped into this is because a lot of our readers and viewers asked us to test that switch after the big test last year in November, I think it was uh, 30th of November. We did a test with eight switches and 10 of our readers here on the, in the office. And we compared the Silent Angel, uh, we tested the Ansus, uh, a normal Netgear, a fiber connection, the Meraki. Uh, a Sotom, I think it was, and another one, I forgot. Ah, it was the Fidelizer switch, yes. And there were two switches that really stood out because everyone liked them. And it was the Meraki switch we have here in the office now. And it was the Silent Angel switch. Um, the Silent Angel switch was a little bit more smooth, I think, or darker, warmer sounding than the Meraki. But the Meraki is very clean. At least that's what the test said. Uh, so we bought one and we tested here at the office because then we can test for a longer time in a more controlled environment and not swapping switches all the time. And yeah, there is a difference between our Zixel switch and the Meraki switch. What it is, we're not going to tell because we made samples of all the tracks and all the configurations and we let you decide which, uh, which one you like or if you hear any differences at all. Uh, we swapped all the tracks and we cut it so you can just press play and you see on screen which switch is playing at that time. So it's around 20 seconds each clip we have. So no worries, uh, you don't have to switch or anything. We did that for you in this video. Um, so it's a difference between the fiber optical connection between the Meraki and our streamer. We have a converter on the other side, of course, otherwise it won't work because there's no fiber connection in our switch, or in our streamer, sorry. Uh, and the Zixel switch is also fiber connected. Then we have the copper uh, from the Meraki switch to the streamer and we don't need a converter for that, so it's a direct connection. And it's a CAT7 cable, normal cable, double shielded. Um, we did hear some differences. Uh, it's small, but I think it's audible. And I'm not going to tell you which one I like more or which one is the best or is the worst. It's up to you to decide which one you like. Uh, I hope you can hear the differences. Please wear a good pair of headphones because the differences are small. And it's mostly in uh, calmness and I think a little bit more detail or if you uh, like in the track with Jacques Lucier he presses the piano quite hard like ding and the uh, I, in, in Dutch it's called the dying of the tone <laughs> I don't know how you say that in English I'm sorry uh, but it, it's longer with a certain config configuration it's it's uh, it's subtle but it's audible I think I hope you like this test. It's quite nerdy, I agree, but um, well, some of our viewers and readers just wanted to know what we thought of it. Um, to conclude, it's quite a good bargain if you look at it, because most audiophile switches are around 400 euros. That's a lot of money for an eight port switch. This one you can buy for a hundred bucks. The module is, I think, 20 bucks if you look uh, closely. Uh, you don't really need this. It's it's good by itself with a normal cable, um, to be honest. Uh, and the converter is around 70. Then you need a cable, fiber cable. It's not expensive if you buy a normal one. And I think you can be finished with 250 bucks. That's still 150 euros less than a normal audiophile switch. So it's cheaper. I think it's built better. 
I think it sounds equally good or even better than most audio file switches. Well, we're gonna leave it up to you now. Uh, we're gonna start all the sample tracks. I hope you like it. Uh, it is kind of an odd way to make a video and to do testing, but I, uh, I would love to hear from you if you like this kind of tests. And if you like this kind of sampling, then we can do more of this. It's a lot of work. So please let us know if you like it or not.
Well, that concludes this test. I hope you liked it. Please let us know if you like these kinds of tests, uh, like sampling tests with comparison sounds and comparison videos, stuff like that. Uh, if you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe. We really like that and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.